Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Welcome in, welcome in. We're getting ready to play today, guys. How's everyone doing? Thank you for joining me in today's variety. Welcome in Jay here, Delight Mares, Hardy, Chibliss. Thank you for the gift membership, by the way, Hardy. I just came back and saw it, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. What up, Delight Mares? This is the menu music. Y'all hearing the menu music, is it scary? What do y'all think about the menu music? I just made myself a little shake here and I'm getting ready for war right now. What up, Splat? Did my, I'm always scared this shit's not tight enough and it's gonna leak, okay. Your mic gain is a bit weird. Oh my God, it's maxed out. What the fuck? That shit was maxed out, I'm so sorry. Okay, is it good now? That shit was maxed out for some reason, bro. All right, let's go. It should be good now. Let's do this. We are playing some firework. The graphics look a little bit bad right now, but let's see, let's see. Maybe, maybe it'll, 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 it'll turn around. Let me also change my lighting. There we go. A little bit more scary. Mike was scary too. It's no longer scary, right guys? Welcome in, drop some likes, and let's start this game forever. This is one of those games that's pretty short, so we'll probably do a two variety stream. So make sure to stay tuned for the whole thing, guys. Let's go. This game's progress can be saved automatically or manually from the menu. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? No, that was a mistake. My bad. It was a mistake. This lighting makes me so yellow. If I put my hands here, I'm not that yellow. If I put my, put my hands down, I'm so yellow. Why does it do that? You see that? You see that? Isn't that weird? What the heck? a lot better all right we're starting off zhang ming this is this is just my luck how did i perfectly functioning car break down all of a sudden wow so we're starting off like that we are starting off like that huh congratulations gallo on the on the gift membership congrats congrats zhang the infer informant is still waiting in town you want to leave the car here there's no need to rush dealing with an arson is not our responsibility this is just my great, this is just my great, my car breakdown. This is just great, my car breakdown. Captain Lou will yell at me. Okay, there's a little bit of translation, there's a little bit of translation thing, but that adds to the charm of it, guys, all right? Dude, this guy kind of look like me. Doesn't this guy kind of look like me? What do y'all think? Captain Lou seems like a nice person. You just transferred here, so you have no idea how Captain Lou's like. If she finds out the car had broken down, she will say, I told you to take good care of the car, didn't I? If you're chasing after dangerous gangsters, what are you gonna do if your car breaks down? Can you imagine the consequences? Oh. Electric bills get my wall drained up for a bit now? Damn. Hopefully you get a sword of yellow. Hong Kong Phil, yup. Yeah. I tried to fix the car, I'm good at this. Okay, got it. We're colleagues, no need to be courteous to me. Uh, the flashlight's almost dead. Uh, Lumix, can you bring me a battery? There should be a small store on the street. 
All right, so we gotta go buy some batteries. Half an hour ago, a coffin caught on fire during the funeral. A coffin caught on fire during the funeral. I kind of want to move my mic closer for this, bro. I want to move my mic like right here. What do y'all think about my mic like right here? I'm gonna speak a little bit more softly. Y'all hear me good right here? Half an hour ago, a coffin caught on fire during a. End this. There you go. The informant claimed it was arson. Our spirit sent us to investigate the matter. This is the first time working as a criminal investigator. Okay, we can move now. Can we talk to him again? There should be a small store nearby. Right. Yo, can anyone read Chinese? I can't read this. Oh, okay, cool. Believe in science, not superstition. True, I also believe in science. Uh, Quinton Town is a secluded town in the mountains. I heard they have retained uh, many superstitious customs. I'm here, Lay, don't worry. Is this the best position for my camp for my cam and chat, by the way? Let me see. I probably wanna do this. Nope. This blocks a little bit too though. Let me see what I can do. Something like that. That should not block as much. Okay. What do y'all think about this, guys? Mm, no. I think we go back to this. I think we go back to this. And we just cut down the chat a little bit. Doesn't block as much. And I'll put it back next time. Y'all hear the music and everything? Everything look and sound good? That should be enough. That should be enough. Let's go. Is this the store? There is a basin full of paper of ash on the counter. The ember grow glows from time to time. Anyone here? This is the store. Small store owner. I just wake I just woke up. What can I do for you? I need batteries, bro. I'll take a double A battery. Here you go, 2-1. Obtain the battery. That's not a double-A battery. Was that a double-A battery? That was like a D-cell, bro. What the fuck? He looks so scary here. Why does he look so scary right there, bro? Hmm. Thor Omer looks at the counter emotionlessly. Wait, why does he look like that? Oh, bring the battery to Zhang first. Okay, let's bring the battery back. Why does he look... Yo, you saw him look, change his eye... Like... Is the top... I guess top and bottom is always going to be for text. Zhang, I got the battery. Thanks, buddy. I'll wrap up here. I'll wrap up here. You can go check out the scene first. Since you're new here, you can, you can take this as a chance to familiarize yourself with the place. Yes. Yeah, let's, look, let's look around. We can now explore. Not here no more. Okay, look for him again. Looks like I can't get him again. Producer Xiang Studios. The funeral shed is on the right. Go. You're making a cake? Cool. Wait, what? Wait, didn't I just... Didn't I just walk past this shit? Didn't I pass? Yeah! Oh, shit is going on already, guys. Shit is going on already, guys. He got Zashians in this game? Blood oozes from the wall. Nah, they got me fucked up. It's happening. Has like it's dripping has some like band-aids on it, bro. Blood oozes from the wall. There are two 
banknotes stuck on it. Two banknotes. That's the money I used for buying the battery just now. Uh oh. Take a sip of this. Zashi and following us everywhere, bro. Is gonna get worse. Is there inventory? Items. There is an inventory. I don't have any items yet. Can save. Cool. The game is a bit retro. This reminds me of like a PlayStation 2 game a bit. Like the, the menu. Like all the text looks kind of normal. Wait, what? There's a door here now. I, I don't want to go in. I'm gonna keep going. Let's see what happens. I keep going. I think we're gonna have to go in that door. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to go in that door, huh? What if I just keep going? What if I just don't go? Nope. Okay. Alright. 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 I'll go in. I'll go in. I'll go in. We're going into the haunted store. This isn't even the store. A rusty door appeared on the wall. Well, that sound gives me a chills. I need to turn up the sound for you guys a bit, I think, so y'all can get, get in on this. Y'all hear the, the game good now? I hear the background music too loud, too quiet. What do y'all think? Well, this is from the thumbnail, dude. Wait, I could have sworn that doll's eyes just moved. The doll right here. I think its eyes just moved. Sounds good? There is an unlit candle on the table. Yeah, this is not Unite. Got a candle. I have to find a way to light this candle. Bro, just light it on this one, dummy. You want to light the candle? Yes or no? Do we light the candle? Do something tomorrow? What do you mean, Henry? Online or, or you want me to go back to New York? You want to come over? I can see clearly now. I will look around the house. Oh, this is gonna, oh, I'm, I'm holding the candle. Oh, shit. Dairy-free cake. Wait, what? How do you make a cake that's dairy-free? It's a dead end. This dude's like reading a book. This paper doll's holding a ledger in his hand. September 23rd. Wang Zingfang borrowed 500 eggs and owed Viren GGs and owed Wang Zing 250 RMB. This is like a debt sheet. Wait, 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 it's just, that's me. Ling Zhu borrowed the battery and owed Wang two RMB. I gave him the money. I gave him the money, no? Excuse me? Excuse me? Why am I, why am I being threatened with assault right now? It's today's date, why is my name on it? You better pay, you better pay Henry some fucking big ass. You better pay him some big money. Yeah, dummy heads is Henry. Yep. Let's go. Ding ding. Wait, this dude got like fucking. Oh man. Uh, Wang Zin Kai, the store owner, had passed away from illness. Please deliver six wreaths, two paper dolls, and two candles. The store paper. The, the store owner I just bought from is dead, apparently. The store owner I just bought shit from was already dead, bro. Three days ago, that clown was dead. That shit, you, you're right. Blood is right. It is haunted. Look at this guy's face. Paper doll's face is covered in... Oh, it's ink. It's ink. Okay, he was uh, eating up the paper. No. No, 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 They give, they, do they give cops guns in China? I think they do, right? They better give cops guns in China, bro. We gotta go give that battery, dude. We already gave the battery. Things here. You can also use coconut milk. But isn't that, 
Coconut milk's not is not dairy. I guess it's from coconut, right? Volume one. Debt to the dead. If you take a dead person's belongings, you will owe a debt to the dead. If you don't return them, uh, maladies will fall, will befall you, or worse, tragedy. This is true. See, remember, I was gonna teach you all about like Chinese shit. If you steal from the dead, it is like a huge like no no. Obviously, you don't want to steal from the dead. Obviously, right? But like, it is like, it is like like lore that it's gonna be like bad luck for you. You know, you also don't use dead people's stuff usually uh, unless it's given to you. Like if someone dies with a watch, usually you don't want to wear it unless they give it to you before they die. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that, bro. You found some new shadow. You cheating on us? You are cheating on us? Oh shit. Oh no. Return to them as soon as possible to avoid this catastrophe. True. Okay. Let's give the battery back. All right. Volume one. Okay. Let's go. Let's go back and get the battery back. Blood oozes from the wall. Two pieces of, of ancestor money are stuck on the wall. What the hell is an ancestor money? Oh, this. Like the really old school money. Oh, did I just steal from the dead again? I might have just stolen from the dead again, dude. You don't want to buy houses from deceased estates? Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of taboo about that. There's a little bit of taboo about that. I usually hear about it with belongings, like watches and shit, you know? The name is black and that, or like shoes, like, you know, like you don't want to wear, like, if your mom died in a pair of shoes, you don't want to wear them, you know? GL. Why did that actually scare me? That wasn't even a, a scary one. Yo, thank you, Renata. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, that was not even supposed to be scary, by the way. I'm just so focused on the game, dude. Yo, welcome in, Renata. You got time for variety today? We're playing, we're playing Firework. Oh my god. The name is black enough. Alright, let's go back and get the battery and return this shit to the dead. It's too dark. Better not act rashly. Wow, I can't go back. I can't I have the candle. Yeah. You're gonna make T-Tar your main? Interesting, Shadow. A big departure from your last main, huh? Yep. Hello, Anata. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, we're back here again. We're back in this loop again. I got the two ancestor money. What are you doing in the game? Apparently, I stole from the dead by accident, Blueberry. Low key, my fault. Okay, there's something I'm missing. A puzzle guys there's lots of puzzles try and help me out maybe we put the money in here can we put the money in there yeah you can put the money in here apparently okay got it damn that shit burns immediately damn okay i gave you your money back my boy yo all right i swear i double paid i paid you in real money and i paid you in ghost money <laughs> We need to lower that sound of that donation. We need to lower the sound of that. I need to lower my sound. My sound is too loud. My sound is too loud. My sound is way too fucking loud. My sound is too... The, if the ooh ooh scared me, that for sure scared me. My sound is way too loud. Oh my god. Thank you, Latte, for a donation. My sound is way too loud. I am dropping down my sound a little, bro. Holy shit, dude. I actually just got wamboed on. What in the world? We have a new area. We have a new area. Dude. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. But we're at the funeral area now. Yep, all these Chinese funerals have like big... Like this is a very... Some of you uh, Westerners might not have seen it. But this is what Chinese funerals look like. They have lots of these white flowers. Lots of paper stuff. You know? Like these giant paper like arrangements. You know what I'm saying? Damn, we're in. Not... No, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. What the heck? 
Where did the bereaved family go? Ling Lun. I'll investigate the scene first. Bro, you are being haunted, my boy. The candles on the table are flickering with red light, illuminating the black and white portrait of the deceased. That's the person I met at the shop a, a while ago. Yeah, that is that guy. Sleeping paper note. There's a phone in here? I'll call. Wait, wait, wait. What do you want to investigate? The coffin lid inside the coffin or around the coffin? I'm assuming we, we look inside the coffin, right? The body is laying in the coffin. You can vaguely see the clothes that have been burned to pieces. Wow. Burned to pieces. Inside the coffin has been blackened from smoke. It's exuding a strong smell. It's the smell of pyrotechnic powder. Why is that in a coffin? Oh shit. Coffin lid? There is a telephone on the lid following the phone cable. The handset can be seen in... phone is in the coffin. The last number dialed was 110. Does 110 mean anything? I actually don't know. What is the 911 for China? Does anyone know the 911 for China? The call was made around the same time the police received the report. Wow, maybe 110 is the Chinese 911. Where do you want to investigate? Yes, around it. The reef and paper doll near the opening of the blackened smoke. There's no trace of burning. The ignition point should be inside the coffin. The fire didn't spread outside. End the investigation. It seems a bit weird. It doesn't seem like a normal fire. I have to tell Zhang about the situation. Yeah, we're still a rookie. Yeah, still a rookie. 110 is emergency? Okay. Remember to drop some likes, guys. Let's go. Y'all enjoying this? Yeah, 110 is the Chinese island? Okay, cool. I swear these guys are gonna fall again. No. They didn't fall. Let's go back to Zhang. They're not gonna let me back to Zhang, are they? Wow, everything's dark now. Wow, everything's dark. Oh, hell no, man. Our techniques is used in quite a few summoning for demons and spirits. I don't remember much, but it helps get them to the human realm. Whoa. I didn't even know about that, blood. Blood with some lore. Oh, they got ghost chicks now, man. 110 is widely used among other countries as police. Really interesting. Okay. Four is my lucky number. Four is not lucky in Chinese. It sounds like death. So four in Chinese is like... Okay, so it's like this. So I'm, I'm going I'm to read out one, two, three, four in Chinese. It's like, ya yi sam se, right? Four is se. And then death is se. So it sounds very similar, so it's actually unlucky. Whoa, 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 I'm trapped. The reef is just move it out of the way. Are you dumb? Oh my god. The paper dolls appeared on the road. There is a ledger covered in ash on the counter. Yeah. October 20th. You're next. That, bro, I gave you your money. It was $2, bro. Dude, it was $2. Don't be, don't. I got chills, bro. What the fuck? Where am I? Don't go in there! Why you go in there? 
Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I had OCD. I used to do everything in fours, like closing a door, flipping a switch. I had to do it four times or I'd throw a fit. Excuse me, Jin looking ass? Wait, what? What do you see this time? It's so bright. It's a white mist. Anything other than the white mist? No. I don't see a car. It's a black horse driving. So I don't see it. I want to get closer. But it always gets further away from me. Did I die already? Did I just die already? The hearse is for my dad. Wait, what? Where am I now? Oh, you're finally awake. Oh, apparently we, we, we fell over or something. What happened? Is this a, the clinic? Why am I here? Did you forget? You fainted near the funeral shed. I fainted? You scared the living hell out of me. Luckily, the clinic is nearby. The doctor examined you and said you fell asleep. I'm sorry, I had this problem since I was a kid. Oh, this dude just be fainting all the time? That is not a good trait for a police officer, bro. I'm sorry for making you worried. It's okay, Captain Lou told me about your condition. Don't take it to heart, take your time to adjust to your work. Yes. Oh, I'm playing as the handicap motherfucker, bro. By the way, do you have any news about the fire at the funeral? I asked the person in charge. It was caused by a half burnt paper that had fallen onto a wreath. But I investigated the scene. The fire started from inside the coffin. That's impossible. The coffin was closed. Additionally, the person in charge did not pursue the case. He didn't even know who called the police. Some uh, mischievous kid probably did it. Was no one at the scene during the incident? Yeah, the deceased was the owner of a small store, uh, Wang Jin Chai. He got divorced a few years ago. The man is very stingy. His relatives stopped contacting him a long time ago. No one cared about his death, so his residents in the town pitied him. Damn. Damn, imagine you live your whole life and no one shows up to your funeral. That is scary, huh? That's a scary thought. My grandma broke me of it. She had me wear a rubber band on my wrist every time I felt that I had to snap the rubber band on myself. It took me two weeks. Well, it's not bad. That's smart for me, grandma. That's like some OG-ass teachings right there, bro. This game is firework, me. They donated some money to hold the funeral for him. Okay. Don't trouble yourself with the case. Go and get some rest. All right. Something's fishy. Oh, do I play it? Wait, I play as this guy now. Wait, what, who am I? Am I playing as the, the other guy now? I'm playing as the other guy now. No, it's not. The doctor isn't here. What's the matter? Hello, can I help you? Oh no, I am still playing as the 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 the, the, the fainting guy. What the hell is that noise? Okay, so I can leave this way, or I can check. I'm gonna keep checking this room. I think might be a dead end though. And there's another door, but it's full of spider webs. The door is covered with a thick layer of spider webs. Okay, so we might need something to burn that open later. Let's go. The door is locked. Okay, so, so we're missing something. What is this? The bag of IV solutions hanging on the infusion stand. When I was a kid, I used to get random fevers frequently. The doctors at the hospital could not find the cause of it. My grandma knew a shaman. She said I was born at a ying uh, date, at a ying time, so I attract spirits naturally. They do say some, some people, they do say uh, things. Some people do attract spirits more naturally, though. That is the thing that people also say. The last time I saw a shaman was at my dad's funeral. She sighed when she saw me and said a few words. 
It's heaven's will that you can see ghosts. You will become a policeman. Help the dead find justice. Why did you actually listen to that, to her? My brother had a friend who claims to see stuff uh, and said that there is three things uh, waiting at the back of my house. Do not listen to that song, bro. True, like me, true. The following news report is about a local case. On September 15th, a family of four in Queentown has found dead at home. The homeowner, Mr. Tron, his wife, uh, granddaughter, had died from rat poison. His daughter-in-law, Zhao, had hung herself. The police uh, force suspects Zhao, who had a mental health issue, had poisoned the family and hung himself. The case is under further investigation. We welcome any information from the public. Dude, like, do they just put that on the news in China? I don't think they put that in the news in America. If cases are crazy, they don't put that in the news, do they? That was something crazy. It's like breaking news. Four motherfuckers just died instantly in their homes. I don't think they do that in China, do they? I mean, in America either. Okay, I unlocked the door. Get out of here. Who is this? Chapter one, the telephone. A little bit of RGB split on that text, I like it. Officer, how do you feel? Hmm, are you the doctor here? Yes, my name is Yi Jingshan, nice to meet you. Dr. Yi, thank you for taking care of me. I'm a doctor, saving people's my job. By the way, I've never seen you around. Did you transfer here recently? Yeah, I just checked in yesterday. No wonder, Quing Tan is very humid. Newcomers don't adapt easily. Just make sure you get plenty of rest. You want to smoke? No, that. Wh wh why is the doctor recommending smokes? This is not a good doctor. I'm okay, I don't smoke. You're rare. Every cop I know is a chain smoker, especially the experienced ones. They can't solve any cases about cigarettes. Low key, my dad is like that, bro. If my dad doesn't smoke, he, he, like, he says he can't think for work. And I'm telling him that shit is a crutch, bro. But, but he still smokes. Don't tell anyone I smoke. I always tell old folks here to smoke less, and I can't justify it if they find out I smoke too. All right, at least he's a good guy. I used to be like that when I was in audit. I keep telling him it's a crutch, but he still smokes. But you know what? I used to dog on him a lot when I was younger, man. But now that I'm older, I don't know. I've just kind of accepted it, you know? I've, I've, I've told him for years to quit, bro. Everyone in the family has told him for years to quit. But now he just doesn't smoke in front of me. That's all. Like, he just never smokes in front of me. Because he knows if he smokes in front of me, I, I, would, I would just, uh, like, I'll tell him to stop and I'll go off him. So he never smokes in front of me, but he still smokes, obviously. But everyone has their advice, I guess, you know? Do you know how Wang Jin Kai died? His body was found several days after he died. I haven't seen the corpse, so it's hard to say. The people in town are saying that he died horribly, as if he was killed by a goat. What does it look like to be killed by a ghost? Nicotine high did uh, help clear the mind. Looking back, it was really bad. I hate the smell of cigarettes. Yeah, it's disgusting. Cigarettes is disgusting, actually, bro. Like the most disgusting thing ever. Killed by ghosts? About that. It's probably has something to do with uh, famicide. What happened some time ago? Are you talking about the Tan family case? I saw it on TV. Yeah, after the Tan family died. Wang uh, Jinkai had told everyone that Tan's daughter-in-law was the mad woman. He says she went crazy and murdered the whole family. Everyone thinks the daughter-in-law's spirit killed Wang Jikai because he spoke ill of her. Of course, I'm a doctor. I don't believe in such superstitions. Wang Jikai had cardiovascular disease, so he probably died from a heart attack. I think the circuit breaker ripped. I'll go have a look. Officer, you might want to grab some candles inside the black van outside. Okay. And this is like, I, we're on like some, dude, in a lot of non-developed countries, there's like these like towns, you know? Like in America, you don't really see these bumfuck nowhere towns anymore. But in these like, 
like like other countries, you have these like towns in the mountains that barely have technology, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like barely. And I think we're in one of them now. Like they got technology, but barely. Alright, let's go to the van. Damn, we came in here on a van. Pitch black, you're not able to move forward. The van is parked across the road. There's a few candles and a lighter next to the seat. Here we go. Okay, let's do it. I can barely make out some boxes of fireworks in the van under the candlelight. This, that is dangerous as hell, man. He just lit up some shit next to a bunch of fireworks. It isn't far from the funeral shed here. Dr. Ye may know something about the fire at the funeral. So something with fireworks is going on with this van. Whose van is this? Is this the doctor's van? Might be the doctor's van. I work at a convenience store. A cute girl walk in and I'm like, hi. She buys cigarettes and I'm like, bye. Yeah, dude, that is the... Cigarettes is like literally a minus like seven on the look scale. You can be a 10 out of 10, okay? And, and then if you smoke, instantly a three. Especially if you're a girl, bro. Especially if you're a girl. That shit is like the hardest, most punishing thing you can ever have, actually. There are traces of something that was once hung on a wall. It looks like an award banner. What? No SARS, guys. Cut that shit out. Welcome to Sabla in Malaysia. Hardly any technology here. The streets get so dark, the stars light the road for you. Damn. Oh, we're probably going to use the candle to burn down the spider webs. Maybe there's a way to clear up the spider webs. Burn it with the candle. Use your hand. I'm going to burn, burn the candle. There was a similar wild tree planted at my old house. My grandma said the tree was the root of the Lin family and it would bless us. Scary looking tree, dude. What does this say? Anyone read Chinese? What does this say on the wall right here? You wanna know what that says? Gotta go in. There are two wires in the box. One wire is burnt and the other one seems functional. Oh shit, we got one of these. I'm a beast with these, bro. I'm just gonna make sure this is connected right. So the play is to work backwards. If you work backwards, you will know the solution. About to hit a dab right now, baby. I'm not gonna though. He work backwards, all right. In, in situations like this, you. Will... Whoa. This. We gotta, before we talk to this ghost girl, we gotta know if she smokes or not. You smoke, lady? Damn. Damn! Isn't the case closed? What are you doing here? I'm trying to talk to you. The case? Are you new here? Yeah, I just transferred here not long ago. What case are you talking about? My name is Chen... Uh, Chen Kui Sai. I'm a volunteer teacher in the in the Quing Tan Primary School. I'm trying to stay for detention then. A month ago, my student Tang Fang Fang, her mother and her grandparents were found dead at home. But you guys suspected it was Fang Fang's mother who killed the whole family. I know Fang Fang's mother. She wouldn't hurt Fang Fang. Have you found any evidence? As you can see, I'm looking for it. Why are you searching for evidence in the clinic? You'll know after I find it and send it to the press. What? Miss Cheng, since you're a volunteer teacher here, I'm not going to put you on the spot. But don't take anything from here. 
I'll, it'll be hard to deal with if someone finds out. Also, I'm Lin. I'm a criminal investigator for the criminal investigation department, obviously, right? I'll be around. Let me know if you run into trouble. Got it. I want to I wanna talk to her again, bro. I might find important evidence here. What if we just keep talking to her? You look weak. Make sure to take care of yourself, officer. Huh? No wonder we ain't getting nothing, bro. Damn. She looked at us and she's like, damn, you look weak. Tell her you play Zashian, man. Damn. I want to keep talking to her, though. Damn. L. L, dude. L. Got umbrella here. A red umbrella dripping with water. Maybe it's hers. L Riz, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that was an L Riz situation. There are many victims in this case. Our superiors take this matter seriously. Captain Liu would have closed the case nonchalantly. I'll collect more information about the Tan family case first. And maybe we gotta get back in. What the hell? You can see a fuzzy human shaped figure in the window. Who's in there? In there. Strange rumor. There's a strange rumor about the Tan family murder case. According to the town's residents, on the seventh day after the murder, residents with landlines received a call in the middle of the night. On the other side, there were sounds of a rope tightening as if it was a heavy object was being hung. The number displayed was from the public phone market owned by the Tan family. In response to this, the police has started uh, stated it was a rumor and urged people not to spread it. China, China hates rumors, by the way. They, they hate rumors. Anything rumors, any superstition, they shut down. This isn't the phone. What is going outside? Did you know, uh, by the way, guys, in China, you can't have ghosts in movies. Or if there, if there is ghosts in movies, by the end of the movie, it needs to be explained away. Because the Chinese government doesn't want people to believe in anything superstitious, as I like religion or ghosts, because that will supersede the government's power. True story, by the way. So if you see any mainland Chinese movies, if there's a ghost in it or it's a horror movie, at the end of the movie, it's like they're on some Scooby-Doo shit where they pull off a mask and it's like, oh, it's all a joke or it's all a dream. They have to put that in the movie or else, or else you're not allowed to make the movie in China. So they got some OD censorship. Over there. Looks like it's this one. The phone screen shows two voicemails. Is this Yi Yang Shang? We're from the criminal investigation department. You should have heard of the Tang family case, right? An eyewitness said that Tang uh, Zhang Rong's daughter-in-law, Zhao, was at your clinic an hour and a half before the incident. We want to know why she was there, her diagnosis, the kind of medicine she purchased, and her mental state at the time. I hope you'll cooperate with us and call us back as soon as possible. So their daughter has mental issues, right? Okay. Officer, I'm I'm Yi Jing Shan. Zhao uh, Zhao Yao Jin did come from the clinic before the incident. She she said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and wanted to buy some cough medicine. She left after buying the medicine. Okay. The people in the clinic saw her. I still have a copy of the receipt for the medicine. Please contact me again if you have any further questions. But she just wanted to buy cough medicine. Okay. Sound effects are nice. The car, uh, the sound of the car starting is coming from the outside. Why are you asking stupid questions, Andy? Okay. No, I'm not. I'm nothing against Dave, but uh, I don't know. After what happened, I don't really want to make content together. Do you know that? Oh, maybe I don't know. I don't even mind anymore nowadays. But I'm just thinking back about it. It's just I prefer not to. I'm I'm also so low on time. Everyone's trying to get me to do other shit, dude. I don't got time for nothing. I barely have time for myself. We got a crashy coming earlier trying to get me to do something. I'm not even sure if I got time to do that, you know? I'm too busy. Cool. 
It's pitch black ahead. You're not able to move forward. What is this place? This all became trees all of a sudden. Several graves are located far away. They look gloomy in the dark. Ooh. There, a cauldron is blocking the way. Enter? Yeah, get in there. Kashi's grandmaster looks sick though. Yeah, I think for someone that someone that is tired of solo queue that wants something slightly more competitive, you know? I think I think that it, that is good for For someone like me that I, I play pro, dude, you know, I don't I don't you know, I'm taking a break from pro. I'm taking a break from competitive. So it, it doesn't really uh, suit someone like me, I think. Mailbox says Tan Dairon, right? Is this the Tan house? I'll investigate the scene first. Right, let's investigate. Auto save. Right? Looks like we gotta check out the Tan Tan residence. A lot of the dead people flowers are around. What is this on the floor? A bunch of candles? There are four empty bowls on the floor. Why is there four empty bowls on the floor? I don't get it. That must be some shit I don't know about, too. Are the sound effects too loud? Okay, I'll turn it down slightly. Looks green to me, I know, right? It's the Tian. The Tian residence. Let's go in. Let's go in the Tian residence. Enter the number. What do we enter? We don't know what number to enter yet, right? One, one, zero? No, it's four numbers. I need to dial four numbers. I see some, I see a lot of numbers everywhere though. Do I, do I just try all of them? I don't think, I don't think we're at this part yet. We gotta find the number first. Another phone? Call me when you find the order. 1785? Wait, how do you know that? Did you look some shit up or do you just guessing? The calendar says September 2nd, 22. September 2nd, 0922. Time of the crime was September 15th. Why is this calendar showing a date that's seven days after that? Okay, let's try let's try it again. Let's try 0922. 092. No response. What about 0915? No, not those. I'll try your number for you, Jason. I got you. One, seven, five. Nope. Can I enter a number in this one? Now this one you cannot enter a number. Call me when you find the order. It shows red, blue, blue, red. What does that mean? Red, blue, blue, red. Let's keep investigating. Or it's locked. No, there's a puzzle here. There's something to figure out here, guys. Red, blue, blue, red. Hmm. Red, blue, blue, red. <laughs> Gotta find the right number. Call me when you find the order. Call me when you find the order. Let me think. 3158? It says 3158 on here. Should we do 3158? Red, blue, blue, red on phone 7227. Seven. Yeah, let's try that too. No, not that. 
something with the calendar. It's something with the calendar, I think. The calendar sticks on September 22nd. Yeah, 0922, September 22nd, no? Okay, but we did this. It didn't work. Hmm. Guys, we gotta we gotta figure this out. Maybe we look at like the fading, the fading on the text. Call me when you find the order. Red, blue, blue, red. Try it backwards. Okay, that might be a good idea. Try backwards. No. Yeah, maybe position of the finger plants. It'll matter. What is that? What is that like? 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 1 o'clock? Day first and month? Maybe that's how they do it in China, day first. So twenty two zero nine. Oh, not twenty two zero nine. It has something to do with this. It has something to do with this. Let's think. Focus. I'm seeing a lot of fading on the six and the nine key. Call me when you find the order. Red, blue, blue, red. Why is it red, blue, blue, red? Let's think. Why is it red, blue? blue? I don't think it's the positions in, in the clock. Each calendar sticks on September 22nd. Oh, a note on the wall. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Some shit's happening here. A note on the wall. Okay. I think we got it. It's 235. 2357. 2357. Oh, that's why they have the tic tac toe shit over here. Okay. 23. Five seven. I didn't see the note. Oh, here we go. I didn't see the note. Hey, today is Fang Fang's birthday. Don't forget to bring cake before you head home. Ribbon's making the cake. Don't worry. The order slip for the cake was in some clothes's pocket and got washed. Now there's only half a piece of paper left in the washing machine, and my lower back hurts. I can't get it out. Other half might be inside of the pocket of clothes that are being hung up. Remember to check the pockets before putting clothes in the washing machine next time. Huh? Sounds like a middle-aged woman by voice. The clothes should be hung outside. Okay. Let's see what's outside. Oh, I see, I see it. I see the pants hung. Pants is hung, you see the pants? How do I get up there? Oh, 
Oh, you can walk up. Okay, check the pants. Pants still wet. It seems like there's something in the pocket. There we go. There we go. Flavors. Butter cake. Lettering on the cake. September 21st, 2004. Please collect thing. Half of the cake order slip. I swear that girl was haunted before. That was a red umbrella. Doors locked. Find the order and then call me. Okay, okay. Well, we, we don't have the full order yet. This is the washroom, it looks like. The lid of the washing machine is tight closely. There's a piece of paper. On Volume 2. Clear mirror. Mirrors can reflect reality and see through people's hearts. Look at yourself in the mirror and find the truth. One, two, three. What? Alright, here we go. Seems like I need to turn the knob on the correct position to open the lid. There might be clues nearby. Interesting. Okay, three is... Three is like a 180 degree turn. The third knob is 180. Third knob is 180. Seems like something hitting the curtains. Open the curtains. Second knob. Second knob is like like one or two o'clock. One or two o'clock. Cozy stream, yeah. Second knob is like one or two o'clock, and then the mirror. The mirror. The fucking this is like what o'clock is this? Six o'clock, seven o'clock, like eight o'clock. So it's eight o'clock, one o'clock, six o'clock, I think. Grandma said I have too much DNA in there, she She'd be possessed by ghosts if I look into a mirror. Damn. After my dad passed away, I secretly looked into the mirror once. This guy's never looked into a mirror his whole life. In the mirror, I saw my dad's clothes hanging on the wall behind me. It was a green police uniform dripping with blood. Oh no. I've never looked in the mirror since then. I can't remember what it what I looked like when I was a child and it feels strange to myself. I, I looked for clues right. I got all the clues ready. I swear I have all the clues ready. Is this next one? Turn on the faucet. Water in the bathtub. Oh, it lets me see the other one. All right, so this one is also eight o'clock. There's eight o'clock, one o'clock, eight o'clock. Oh, it's a reflection. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so now we have all the intel we need. 8 o'clock. This is, yeah, this is 8 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Was that not it? No, that was not it, apparently. This is, this is like 8 o'clock, right? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Wait, it's it's a reflection. It's a reflection, so it should be the opposite, right? Eight o'clock. Uh, one o'clock. Eight o'clock. It's a reflection. It's a reflection. That's why it's reversed. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. There's a piece of paper at the bottom of the washing machine. Here's the other part of the order. 
Here we go. We put the slip back together. Ooh, we got some puzzles. Welcome in, Fox. We're running some puzzles. Okay. Birthday cake bakery on site. So now we need to call him. He said we need to call him, right? The cake of Sir Tang Fang Fang. But the Tan family was already killed by the 21st. Who ordered the cake? Who ordered the cake? Can I leave? Can I leave? Oh no. Bro, that was really scary. What the fuck? Where am I now? This place is the department's morgue. What the hell? We keep teleporting, bro. This is locked as well, too. Now we're in a morgue. The electrical box. Locked. There's a corpse lying on the morgue tray. Next to it is an autopsy report. Medical autopsy report. The name of the deceased. Zhao... Zhao Xingzhan. Gender, female, age 33. Okay. Height, 164. The deceased died from shock caused by... Blah, 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 blah. No other trauma or signs of struggle. Blah, 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 blah. From, this, from the on-site investigation and interviews, we can confirm that the deceased has committed suicide. The hair of the deceased was entangled with the telephone at the crime. In order to perform the autopsy, we had to cut some of the hair. We suspect the body of the deceased had rotted after she hung herself, using her hair to be caught by a phone cord. Whoa. Here's the autopsy. And, oh, here's the hair. That's a lot. That's a lot of hair, man. The hair is clumped in the sink. There's something at the bottom. We probably need to cut it, cut it with the, the scissors, huh? Oh, we now now we gotta cut the scissors. Now, now we gotta cut the hair. The sink is full of hair. There's the key. There's the key for the. Corpse is covered in hair. Damn. I like chicks with long hair, but I don't know about that. Open this up. I think we're gonna turn the lights on and we're gonna see the doctor again. There are two switches. It was red, blue, blue, red. Red? I may have turned the wrong thing on. I may have turned the wrong thing on. I cannot leave. I may have turned the wrong thing on. I'll investigate the morgue tray first. There's something hidden underneath the thick hair. Oh my god. is placed on top of a birthday cake. It seems to be an offering in a sacrificial ceremony. What? The word liberation on the pig's forehead looks abnormal due to the lighting. What? Now we go blue now. Liberation on the pig's core. It looks at door to do. Wait, I don't know Chinese. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, the first thing is two lines, guys. Okay, the first thing is two lines. Now we have the the box and all that. There should be some sort of meaning behind the text color. I'll jot it down. Okay. okay. One one four eight. Oh, one one four eight. Oh, it's apparently Chinese characters. One one four eight. Okay, it said it said it there. We don't know. 
Did Phil react to the cake? We just saw a cake with a, with a, a pig hat on it, Ribbon. I hope you don't make a cake like that. Oh, this chick's back. Yo, what up? Miss Chen, why are you here? This is Fang Fang's house. I want to see if there are any clues here. You're a ghost. You're a ghost. I know you're a ghost. Oh, oh, you already made it? Okay, let me check right after this. You said the case was closed. My presence at the crime scene won't bother you, right? Miss Chen, I've read the reports on the case. The autopsy reports show uh, Zhao Xingzhan uh, had committed suicide. And the news said that Zhao Xingzhan hung herself at her family uh, member's death. So what? If I come home to see my family poisoned and not breathing, I will still call for an ambulance straight away. You don't understand. After Fang Fang's father passed away, Fang Fang was Zhao Xingzhao's only mental support. Uh, Zhao loved Fang Fang deeply. After the incident, everyone thought Zhao lost her mind, but she didn't. She was very sane. Looking at her daughter's dead body, could you imagine how devastating that could be? Do you think someone poisoned Fang Fang's family? And Zhao came home and saw Fang Fang's body, so she mentally broke down and killed herself? This is possible, right? I can't make a conclusion without finding more clues. What clues are you looking for? I want to know why you went to the clinic. Does Dr. Yi have anything to do with the case? Hmm, that's true. She is sus, bro. Yi had a strong motive. Wait, what? The doctor had a strong motive for the murder? Why? Two years ago, Fang Fang's father, uh, Tang Yu, had an uh, epileptic seizure and was sent to Yi's clinic for emergency treatment. But he didn't make it. Fang Fang's grandfather believed that Yi killed his son. He led a group of people to smash Dr. Yi's uh, clinic and broke his ribs. Damn! They you were on some mob violence. They said he died under your care? I'm beating your ass, dude. Yi ended up uh, confined to a hospital bed for more than half of a month. He also lost a lot of money to the Tan family before everything was settled. Moreover, uh, Zhao had gone to the clinic before the incident. Don't you think it's too much of a coincidence? Damn. Dr. Yi said Zhao went to the clinic for cough medicine. There was other patients who witnessed the incident at that time. Who knows if there was anything wrong with the medicine uh, he gave her. Dead people can't talk. Well, that's true. So you went to the clinic to find evidence of Yi's crime? Yes. But Yi is a smart man. He left no clues. He is a doctor, bro. You don't, get, you don't become a doctor by accident. Then what have you found here? There's nothing here. I have to investigate somewhere else. I will take my leave if you don't need anything else. No, 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 no. Stay. Let's investigate together. You don't want to investigate together? This chain looks like looks uh, a little strange. Is it because she found something here? Uh, we got the order now. Can we call now? Well, we could call now. What was, what was it? One four one one four eight. One one eight four, I think. One eight four. One four eight one, really? Wait, why is it? Why is it one? Oh yeah, you're right. Cause it's oh my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's red, blue, blue, red. Got it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's actually like this. There you go. Got it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hello? We saw the cake. Fang Fang liked it very much. She's dead. Your father-in-law said Fang Fang's classmates are coming. Please prepare a nice dinner. Please don't forget to pick up something at the restaurant. Remember to get some fish. You and Fang Fang love to eat fish. One more thing. This morning, I noticed Fang Fang left the house key in the dining room again. She's so forgetful, even at such a young age. What if she left the key outside? Someone picked it up. True. True. That's some shit your parents would be saying, bro. If you, if you lose your keys, they'll be saying some shit like, yo, what if you leave your keys outside and then people come to your house, open the door, and kill you in your sleep? That's some shit Asian parents would be saying, bro. Children uh, learn everything from adults. He has to set an example. Right? They say some crazy shit like that, bro. Let's 
go to the dining room. We need to go in there no more. A few pieces of moldy cakes appeared in the bowl. There's the cake for the dead. Oh, let's see. Let's see Ribbon's cake after this. Too. Hopefully it's not moldy like this. Investigate. How do you even investigate the cake? Maybe, maybe there's... Maybe there's a key in one of them. Just an ordinary piece of cake. Yep. See, there's a key there. Main door key. There it is. Bro, am I about to get hit by a car? Yo, watch out, homie. Where'd that sound come from? That was the car sound. Is that her? The girl's portrait remains behind the rails. Seems to be a portrait of Fang Fang. That's what Fang Fang be looking like? I don't know if I like Fang Fang. I like Miss Chang a little bit more. Damn, it's gone. What the hell? They're leading us in. All right. How's the game? Stream has been running, but phone was charging uh, in the truck. I've been mega lurking. Sounds good. Uh, the, the game has been pretty interesting so far. We're about to check out Ribbon's Cake right now. Is it finished yet, Ribbon? I don't think it's finished yet, is it? Because it looks like it's just the batter. Ribbon's making like some... I think this is classified as birthday... Uh, like birthday cake where you have like uh like white vanilla frosting with a a bunch of uh like different colors in it. Wow, two of them. They're making a lot of cake. What's the occasion, Ribbon? Why are you making so much cake? Someone's birthday? I know one thing. Latte lives for these donos. Always ready to scare donuts. True, true. Hmm? Latte still in here. Latte, you still in here lurking? The key, I just got should be able to open the door. Let's open the door. This is my first time at the crime scene. Take a deep breath and then exhale hard. Latte is lurking. Is went in the oven. It looks it, The batter looks solid, though. I've never really made... I made cake, like, once. I didn't really make it. It was just mainly a girl made it, and I was watching. You know? But it looks solid. The batter looks all right. Just make sure you guys set the times right, and you should be chilling. Is the phone in the public phone market? A public phone market? Public phone market? Over here? What is a public phone market? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's in here. Oh, that's the family business, like a phone market, dude. Oh, shit. Other side is silent. Only rustling sound is heard. Hello? Hey, officer. Dr. Yi? You remember my voice even though you only met me once? Well, so do you. Huh, interesting. I was busy, so I didn't hear the phone ringing. The, ca the call just now, was that you? The phone call? It wasn't me. I didn't see who made the call earlier. That's weird. The number belongs to Tian family. Am I experiencing that supernatural stuff the news mentioned before? <laughs> Why is that in the phone call? Why is that in the phone call? I'm hanging up on that, bro. I'm hanging up on that. What the hell? Thank you, Latte, for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, it's for your boss. You're making icing right now, and you're going to put uh, watermelon slices in between the layers. Damn, watermelon slices in between the layers. Okay. Personally, I'm not a fan of cake and fruit, but I know a lot of people like it though. I want to try his recipes uh, anyway, so she's getting a birthday cake. Ooh, wow! You're trying to get a promotion there, Ribbon, huh? W Latte, thank you, Latte, for a donation. Yo, if someone call me and does that, I'm hanging up immediately. What the hell? God damn. I heard people in town say the seventh day uh, after. I heard you say on the seventh day after they died, a few of the granddaughter's classmates received strange phone calls. True. The day was also the grandmother's birthday. Oh boy. 
I also heard on the 6th after they died, a cake shop in the city received an order, and the cake was for the granddaughter. Now, if people in town are terrified of going near Tian's house, they're afraid of coming across evil spirits. I would be too. There was like four ghastly cakes. Like, there's, like, I, I've encountered like three ghosts already. Officer, I'm curious, what are you doing uh, in Tian's house? There's something about the Tian family case I wish to find out, so I went to investigate. Something you can't figure out? Dr. Yi, did Zhao go to your clinic before the incident? Yes, it's flu season, so the clinic was pretty busy that day, and everyone saw her. Did the Tans usually go to you when they were sick? Oh, we, oh, he knows we know now. The extremely subtle chuckle came through the phone. Yo, doc, yo, the doctor's on some shit. The doctor is on some shit. But there's a store uh, here. I forgot the actual name of the cake, but it's topped with strawberry, kiwi, blueberry, and it's heavenly. It sounds like a fruit cake or something. That sounds good. A lot of like uh, Asian birthday cakes have like, um, like cake with a layer of cream with a layer of like fruits. I'm not a big fan of that though, personally. I feel like the, the texture makes things weird. I understand what you can't figure out. You've probably heard about the incident between me and the Tan family. Oh, he's, he's playing it smart. Indeed, the Tans would rather take a longer route for another doctor than to come to me after that incident. I was also pretty surprised that Zhao suddenly came to that clinic that day. What did she say? She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and wanted to ask me if I had a certain brand of cough medicine. Then she left after buying the medicine. Got it, thank you for your cooperation. No problem. I can't help you much with this case. Do you want to continue the investigation? Why are you asking that? If there's any suspicious, suspicious uh, with the case, I can't pretend that I don't see it. To be honest, when I asked whether you smoke in the clinic just now, you said no, that you haven't investigated the case. I thought you were a rookie. It's really impressive that you managed to obtain these clues in such a... Yo, yo, Dr. Yi is on something, bro. Dr. Yi. Guys, Dr. Yi is on some shit. He might have done it. I'd like to know how you found these clues. Hmm. Unfortunately, I have business to attend to now. I hope to chat with you uh, more when I get the chance. He's on some shit. I won't bother you anymore. Bye, officer. Yo, Dr. Yi. Dr. Yi. He up to no good. E.G. Shaw was in the clinic while the crime was happening, and he he has his patients as witnesses. He's not really that suspicious. However, he seems to be, uh, what's this word? Concisely, un consciously, or unconsciously revealing strange rumors about the Tan family. There you go. He's also very interested in my investigation of the case. This dude is what we call sus. Drop some gibble susses in chat. You tried Nashville hot, bro? I've tried it before. Nashville hot. I've only tried fake Nashville hot stuff. I tried like Nashville hot. Can I answer the phone? Do you recognize my voice right away? It's like he's lurking in a corner nearby watching everything. Dude, this music is scary as fuck. I don't know why. I don't know why, but this shit is scary as fuck. Oh, nah! Yo. Whoa, shit! Did he just run us over? That was the that was the that was the doctor's van. Please don't blame yo. We knew too much. We knew too much, and the doctor took it. I told you it was the doctor, man. I told you it was the doctor. I swear it's the doctor, man. So bright. Linun, can you tell me something about your father? My dad was a criminal investigator. He had handled a lot of big cases. 
He was always busy and always away from the house. After his death, I finally saw his face clearly for the first time. I was young then. I just stared curiously at the small wound on his forehead. Damn, he was shot in the head? The adults often said I looked like him. Every time they said that, I would think of the wound. And my head would start aching. That feeling was like the bullet that killed my dad had taken root in my head. Damn, his dad got, got domed, literally. Time to get up. Food is ready, get up now. What is going on? I st are we back to where when, when we're young? Is this back to when we were young? We look younger now. This is my room, yeah. I remember as I was leaving the public phone market, a black car drove towards me. I don't have any wounds on my body or feel any pain. Who brought me back? We're having a flashback. You got a Gengar plushie? I got a Gibble plushie. This is my room. But when was this mirror installed? Get up and wash. Time to eat. This is back when we were young, I think. And this is like our mom or some shit. Door is locked. Cannot be opened. Excuse me? It, who locks himself in their own room? There's a bottle of sleeping pills on nightstand. I don't remember buying sleeping pills. Yo, we're getting drugged! You're still not washing? The food is getting cold. Hey, I'll wash. I heard this voice before. This is the voice of the middle-aged woman on the phone. Could it be- could it be our mom? Some shit with our mom? Oh, damn. Wait, what? I thought this was a safe place, dude. What the hell? Oh, it is not safe. The fragments that fell in the river are, are jutting out from the bed. This is the same mirror that was in the Tan house, by the way. Look, you see the rose on it. I remember. This is the mirror from the bathroom in Tian's house. Yup. Why is the Tian family mirror in my room? I'll search to see if there's any other suspicious objects. Mirror fragment. Damn. Is that a weapon? Gunfight movie poster. I loved it when I was small. Calendar sticks on. It's still. It's stuck on September 22nd. Award. This is the certified Lin as an outstanding triple A student. My boy was a nerd. June 30th, 1990. June 30th. We're getting a lot of mirror fragments. Here's another mirror. Here's an actual mirror. Damn, this shit's all busted up too. I think we can complete the mirror now. There's mirror fragment one, two, and three. The pieces back together. We're not supposed to be looking at mirrors though, bro. Chapter two. Accumulated sins. A, a, a window has appeared in the mirror. Press A to focus on the window. Uh oh. There's the car. We're back. We're back here, man. This place is the bathroom in Tian's house. We're back. Dude, the music is so eerie, man. Let's go. Let's not get hit by a car this time. Go outside, see what's up. Too dark outside. Oh, this is when we use this candle. All right. There, f there fills the pungent smell of gunpowder. The mist has become thicker than before. Damn, gunpowder now, huh? It seems something was burnt nearby. Is 
guess we gotta check it out. No, it's not in here. It's not this way. It's not this way. Maybe it's this way. No, it's not this way. We gotta go up. It's upstairs. Something is burnt up here. We haven't been able to go in here yet, have we? Yeah, we have the key. We never went in. Alright, this is our first time in. There's a crime scene tape. The red umbrella dripping with water. It's the girl again. The, the girl. That's the girl's red umbrella. Oh shit, dude. Happy family. That does not look like a happy family. More phones. A yellow piece of paper is underneath the phone. Hey, Susha. After a person died, the spirit will return to the land of the living on the seventh day. This phenomenon is called Hashia. To prevent the spirit from getting lost, family members will light candles in their house. Uh, in their house, the spirit will find their way back following the candles. What? Damn. So people actually want the spirits to be in the in the families or something in the family houses. The candle is engraved with the word two. Three. I'm holding one. I think I'm holding one, dude. The candle is engraved with the word four. Light the candle. There's a grayscale portrait on the wall with the name uh, Tian Yu written in the corner. Tian Yu, I remembered. He was Fang Fang's father. This is a guy? That is a That's a guy? Five. Light the, let's light the fifth candle. I'm holding candle number one right now, bro. We need to guide the spirit back, guys. One. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe there's seven candles, though. There might be seven candles, though. Balcony is locked. No delight mares. Only night terrors. Radio requires tuning to receive signal. Do we do we know what to tune this to? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's it's by the shape of the candles, right? Hold on, hold on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, look, it's, it's the, you see the candles? It's the horizontal axis of the candles. So five is the highest, two and three are the same, four is under them, and one is the lowest. Got it. Got it. Big brain time. Big brain time has been activated. Five is the highest, two and three are the same. Wrong. No, never mind. One, two, three. I think four is under. I think four is under. Give me a second. I think I know. This is definitely the lowest. I think it's like this. Come on, baby! They don't know about me, bro! Who went through it higher than four? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I had the right idea, but I remembered it wrong. Got it. You did not tune it right, my boy. If you tune a radio and it starts making sounds like this, you did not tune it right. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't want grandma haunting you. You want her haunting you? Yeah, I don't even know. Wait, what happened, Jason? You getting haunted, Jason? Yo, you did not tune that shit right, my boy. You absolutely did not tune that shit right. When you hear a noise like that, you for sure did not tune that shit right, dude. What the hell? Oh, here she is again. You didn't hear me in the other room? Miss Chan. Dude, I can't tell if this chick is a ghost or not. What a coincidence. We ran into each other twice tonight. I gotta run into each other three times, all right? Third place is at my bedroom. Let's go. Officer, what are you doing here? Miss Chan, maybe you're right. There might be hidden clues in the Tian family's case. I'll continue to investigate. Oh, this is the angle. 
This is the angle that he wants to get her at. He's like, oh, oh yeah, maybe you're right. Let me investigate with you tonight, huh? I heard there's some evidence back at my place, bro. Let's review the evidence over there. Nothing yet, but I'll try hard to search the house. Also, this is a crime scene. It'll be hard for me to explain to my superior if you leave any traces. I understand. I'll go somewhere else. I'll leave you alone. No, 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 no. You can, you're, you're good. You're good here. Officer, you seem quite concerned about the case. I was a bit harsh on you. Hope you don't take it seriously. Oh, she's starting to... Okay, now that I'm, 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 I'm taking a liking to the case, she starts to give a shit now. Okay. My work, someone broke a bottle of lemonade in the cooler. I was on my knees, stocking gallons of water, and got some glass on my knee. Damn. And then we were just in the game talking about broken glass. The food on the table is rotten. And there's a paper, piece of paper next to it. My body will not rot into the mud. Like a bird, I'll die in the sky. I swear birds do not die in the sky, though. Seems to be a bit of poetry. It is a bit of poetry. There's a family portrait in the wine jar. Huh? Find a way to get it out. We need to somehow fish it out. Maybe with chopsticks? Yeah, let's get chopsticks. Yeah, fish that shit out with chopsticks, baby. There's also a cleaver there. Ugh. One person is missing in the family portrait. Who? Who's missing? I don't even know. Go put the picture back. Damn. This game it do be hitting home, huh, Jason? This TV. TV has no signal. Okay. It makes sense. TV 21. Some words have appeared on the photo. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, can I look at that photo again? I need to look at that again. The mom and the dad are crying blood, but not the daughter and not like the older brother. Interesting. So something is with the mom and the dad. 21, bro. Now we're going to reveal the special number for this issue. What is this, the lottery? Lottery winnings. 070, yo, write this down, guys. Write this down. We might need this. 07010811 Ladies and gentlemen, special number for the 20th issue of uh, Kiang Style is 04. With a 04 on there, too. Clean the screen. <laughs> why did you why did you turn off the TV? I want to watch my TV series. He Guan. What? It's too noisy and annoying. He Guan. I've already told you it's not easy to win the lottery. But a lottery ticket doesn't cost much. You know how much money we have? You just lent 10,000 yuan to your cousin last month. We're almost out of money. He's my relative. I had to help. Dude, people that buy lottery tickets, by the way, no flame, though. It's... Don't do it. It's not worth, bro. They call it the stupid people's tax for a reason. Don't do it. It's, it's not worth it. All right? And then they do this whole commercial where it's like, hey, you never... You know, you can't win if you never play or some shit. And it's like, no. You actually can't win if you play. The, the way to win the lottery is to not play. No, I'm winning the lottery. No, zero four is the Powerball, yep. When you get to the job, we will be leaving. We'll be having more income, okay? You've been trying to get him that job for several years and spent a lot on it. The people in your company were all flattering you back then. Now that you've been fired, uh, they just don't care about doing favors for you. That might be the game plan, Delight Mares. 
I was laid off under the arrangement of the state not fired. Besides, the supermarket is almost ready. We can make money out of it too. Damn, they got a supermarket coming up? All right, I'm done with this. I'm going to cook. There's some drama. There's a lot of drama about money in this, see? Asian culture, there's a lot of drama about money, even for dead people, bro, all right? Hey, we can't just let outsiders know our family shorten money, especially her. I understand. If other people know about this, you'll be humiliated. True? Asian, Asians hate talking about money, bro. It's like, it's like so taboo. Whoa! There may be more secrets. The sound of the door opening is coming in from the outside of the living room. Oh my god. On that note, we're gonna call it here for today. On that note, we're gonna call it here for today. That shit is some spooky stuff, boys. We'll run, we'll run that shit back tomorrow. On that note, creepy as fuck. Is it not creepy? Yo, that shit is creepy as hell. Ooh. Did you know that when a scratcher says odds one in three, it doesn't mean one in three tickets is a winner. It means for every $3 you spent, one dollar would be one. Oh, well, that might be it. I, I, did, I did not know that, actually. I did not know that. Did that get you, Latte? That got me. Love how there's literal jump scare, but the pro tag is... Yep. Po tag is on some shit. Alright, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this game. If you guys do, I will run some more tomorrow, guys. Alright? Uh yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Mm -hmm. Drop some likes if you guys enjoyed, but that is probably gonna be it for today. We ran some Unite, we ran some variety. Tell me, uh if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Let's go, let's go. Not bad, not bad. You love the game? I like the game, too. Seems pretty interesting. And it's going to be short, too. So it's, for me, at least, it's calming knowing that I don't have to invest too many variety streams. Fun but scary stream. Game is good. Get to learn about different culture. No problem, Jay. Great stream today. Hope you all all enjoy. Cool mystery game, yeah. Big shout out to all the supporters of today's stream, by the way, too. Here we go. Big shout out to Renata, Tactical, Greyhound, Green six for eleven months. Iconic Tristan membering up. Clickbait for the fourteen months. Primi membering up. Uh, Tactical General with the donation. One KG for the eight months. Takashiro with the membership. Andy with a super chat. Ribbon with a donation. Drosa with a donation. Jalen coming in crazy today with a big donation. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zalora with a super chat. Uh, Latte with some jump scares and Renata at the end here too with a with a donation as well. Thank you guys all for watching, guys, and thank you guys for supporting me and making it possible for me to stream full time. I really appreciate you guys. Drop a like if you guys have not already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Also, check out the new Garchomp uh, video on the main channel, guys. Exclamation point main and chat. Check out the new Garchomp video. And yeah, dude, my lips look really pale. It looks like I'm sick, bro. I might be getting haunted, dude. Don't my lips look really pale? Like they have no color. See that? I'm scared. I'm getting scared, man. This game, this is this shit spooking me, bro. All right. Thank you guys all for watching. Good night, Jason. Blood, Hardy, Evil, Jeffrey, Green Six, Blood, The Lightmares, Jay here, Kelp, Latte, Fernando, Jason, Henry. Thank you guys all for watching, guys. Pineapple, Jeffrey, and I will see y'all tomorrow, guys. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye, Kendrick. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboard But now you're gonna leave and nothing but a sign Another evening I'll be sitting reading in between your lines Because I miss you all the time So
So what do you want?